uh, you come from a, a variety of backgrounds, geography, and interests, but it seems to me you're here together because you care about people and our government, and so I'm glad to be here to answer your questions and sort of share a little bit about what's going on. It's a pretty exciting time in California. This last week was pretty historic uh, in a couple of regards. One is the rolling out and, you know, not as smooth as we would hope, but it's rolling out and it's rolling out strong with the new Affordable Health Care Act. I mean, this is major, 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 100 years of waiting for uh, an ability to reach most Americans, give them health coverage as a right, as something that they should expect, uh, not fear to get sick or get injured and lose their home and have their personal finances shattered. So we're pretty happy about that. That's the, uh, they call it Obamacare. I think we should be proud to call it Obamacare because he, he led the way, the president led the way and uh, put it in place. And There's still the battles and the Tea Party and the gridlock Congress, but it was uh, a major, major uh, step forward. Yes, sir. Um, <clears throat> so the extra budget, is any, is any of it going towards our music programs or like extracurriculars? Good question. One of the things that got terribly hurt in the five years of cuts, because uh, K-12 lost about $20 billion of funding that it used to have during those five years. There's a big percentage of its operations. So because, and this is wrong-headed in my opinion, because there was such an emphasis defining success for schools being their math and their language arts scores, school board said to principals, superintendent said to principals, you must get your scores up. We want to be a distinguished school. We want to look good, and um, you know we're going to be ranked. And so they concentrated, and there was drill, 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 kill, and drill, drill more. And it was an over obsession with those two things. So what happened is, the school boards started jettisoning dollars that were, you know, in programs that were related to the arts, and to science, and to civics. And those were the three areas that were hurt the most. So I have a, 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 a great California task force working at the California Arts Commission. And we're showing, uh, we've had hearings up and down the state, we're soon to issue a report uh, showing how important art can be, art, music, and drama can be in, in engaging students in their learning and also connecting them in teaching math and, and weaving it into culture and geography and how different peoples of the world use technology. And, and so it's a rich opportunity that we've you know, abandoned practically in many parts of California. And, you know, Contrast private schools. Did any of you go to private school? Some of you went to private school. Um, private schools don't cut the arts. Generally speaking, they, they keep them strong, and that's also a big attraction uh, for uh, you know parents to send their students to those kind of schools. So we're, we're bringing back what I call a renaissance of the arts, and we have a blueprint. Um, Elisa Shriver, uh, part of the Shriver family leadership, is leading that effort. And well for more information on our stories, you can go to theorion.com.